Welcome to 50 Days of Keynote, 50 Things You Can Create for the Classroom. Today's topic, how to use Keynote to create great posters. Why Keynote and not any other poster generator out there? Well, with Keynote, you have full control over the design tools. You can add elements, move them around in any place without any constraints. Here, students are also encouraged to think about effective design elements rather than just replicating things on a template. It's then their own artwork, so they don't have to um, copy from anybody else. can be easily exported. There's no login required to an online platform, and they have the added advantage of being able to collaborate with others if the possibility with Apple ID is given. The design tools are the same as anywhere else. We have images, fonts, colors, and shapes. What I'd like to do when I um, teach students how to create great posters is that I have them really understand these basic rules. So posters should have a clarity, the, it should be legible, there should be a good contrast, there should be a harmony between the elements on the page, there should have something, a, a real eye catcher, it should be a really good, a well-chosen color scheme to evoke a certain mood, and the composition, all things, how they go together, should be really effective because that is what a poster does and what a poster is. A poster communicates a message and that's what effective posters do. They stand out when they're next to other posters. They deliver their message and they say also something about the messenger. So what are some lesson examples? Here I have a few for you. Travel posters, a show or exhibition and the protest posters. So with a travel poster you can have students research online to see what posters there are. They can choose the elements they think that are uh, relevant to this topic. And then they can choose the city or country and showcase the place with their own design. With the exhibition, students also can use online tools to research what great historical posters there are. For example, on the World Fair or Bauhaus or Woodstock or World War II. Then they can either design something similar for an upcoming exhibition at school or they can create a, sh a poster for a past show. Here they should also again reflect on what they've done and what really makes the design effective. A very a good topic these days is climate change or the climate change process. So here is a really great opportunity to have students create a poster to um, communicate their message on climate change. They can again research online, choose a motif, choose a slogan, and create a poster to reflect this. How can this be done in Keynote? Let me show you. So in Keynote, what you should do is you change the document format to click on size, size, slide size, choose portrait three to four, change the background color, in this case to black, add a circle for the earth, you want to add the continents as well, change them to green, and then place them over each other to get a real earth and add drawings or your uh, text. When you're finished, export to PDF or image. And there you have it. That was already day three. Join us on our journey, follow us. You can find all the videos here and all the keynote files here. See you tomorrow.